Hey guys, so I am doing a collaboration video with Tina from Overall Adventures and we are going to do the art process tag and we decided to do a collaboration together and she actually came up with these questions so be sure if you do this tag be sure to link back to both of us. Also tag your friends and link to them because we would love to see your guys' videos and your friends' videos and all that. This is the art process tag. Go check out Tina's channel at the end of this video. Uh, she's awesome. She's like totally free spirit, creative person. She has a lot of journaling videos. Go check her out. I absolutely love her and I'm sure you guys will too. What do you create? I create, uh, I'm a watercolor artist and I do a lot of work that's inspired by travel and culture and then the mixing of cultures. And what the mixing of cultures means to me, and I'll do a video on this in the future. Mixing of cultures, I, I tend to like study religious religions and other cultures and other religions. I think that... Uh, Christianity is definitely a worldview that relates to all different cultures. And so I love symbolism and things from cultures. And I like using what I believe is like from the Bible, what I believe is truth to speak to uh, like different cultures and like what that means. I'll show you guys some examples of that in uh, future videos. Do let me know though, because I have some blog posts and stuff on it from the past. I create watercolors with uh, social culture, travel, inspiration. What do you need to create? I wanted to think about this for a while. Like, I think this is one of those questions that I love to use watercolor and so then watercolor paper and watercolors if you take that away i can use a pencil and notebook if you take that away i've got i can find a stick and dirt and if you take that away i still have my words and like creative people just create what do we need we need and i don't even know it's such a hard question i want to that's like all of these are such good questions i think i could do an individual video on each of them i'll try to answer these again later because i think they're really beautiful questions coffee or tea definitely tea I do not like coffee at all. Night or day? I love both. I love mornings and evenings. I love waking up with the sun and going to bed after the sun is set. I used to be a total night owl and stay up until like two or three every day and then like get up early and then take naps. That was in college. Uh, I don't do that anymore. I am more of like a traditional, like I go to bed around like midnight or one or two. Last night was like 2.30, which is rare for me anymore. And then I get up um, usually between six between 5.30 and 7.30. Uh, where we used to live, I had like this great view over a golf course where I could watch the sunrise every single day. And I, I kind of miss that. But here I get to watch the sunset out of our back. So that's cool. And it's a super pretty town for sunsets. So, like we went to the bike, we went for a bike ride last night and we went to the river and just like watched the sunset over the river. And then you could also see the moon coming up over the river. So that was super gorgeous. So anyways, that doesn't answer your question. I like both. I just did a painting, two paintings that ask this question as well. Uh, where do you find inspiration? Travel, culture, nature. I love being outdoors, but uh, definitely travel and culture in different languages and people groups and all those types of things, uh, as you will see in my future and probably some of my past. I'm trying to do more uh, stuff in the future that is like my work, my art, travel, culture, those that core concept group. A routine or wing it? I definitely do both. Routine, I need to set aside days like that I keep for my art and then within those days I kind of wing it a bit more. What are your typical artistic challenges? I'm not quite sure what that means. I'll come back to this one later I think. Role models. I love people that can do all sorts of things like I think polymath is the word. People that are good at visual art and painting and singing and different mediums and they can write and they can like they have great, gorgeous voices, they can play the guitar, all sorts of things. Like I love people that are just like creative people that can do I think those are super inspiring. Also people that are just like good people that, uh, like I mentioned in one of my past videos, like people who like follow the fruits of the spirits, so like goodness, patience, gentleness, kindness, self-control. I said them all wrong, but I will, I will list them below so you can see it. Favorite snack foods for creativity? I have no idea. I, I don't know this one. I love cultural foods that you can't get in the U.S. or where I live, I guess. I also love like uh, cultural foods as far as like going out and being able to pick cherries, which is a very like Washington thing that you couldn't do in other parts of the U.S. How do you push through blocks? I think I just create something. Also, sometimes I really struggle where I'm like, if I want to make and sell artwork, I need to do it. But I also do enough teaching to where it, like, teaching can inspire me and like there's a few art friends I have that can inspire me. But yeah, it's a tough one. Like I struggle with this all the time. But what is your ideal creative day? I love listening to sermons or like debates whether like, or like philosophical lectures, like I could sit and listen to like uh, lectures just like all day long while painting. I love that. Also, I think uh, like backpacking and painting or creating artwork while backpacking or traveling with a small group or by myself or like having times of both. Uh, either one of those, like super nerdy or super outdoorsy. <laughs>
tips for young artists and new artists. I think just keep going, keep creating. Uh, if you feel like you're not doing well, keep keep making work. We all feel like we're not doing well. Just keep making work, keep making things. Start putting it out there, put it online. If you want to like get an art business and selling and teaching, uh, take every single opportunity you can to teach, volunteer to teach, volunteer at galleries, do everything that you can to just put yourself out there and start going for it. I think that's definitely my biggest thing. And like do in, if you're in college, do internships. I think internships for me were more important than the actual like degree. Uh, maybe I shouldn't say that, but if you want more art school videos, which I know a lot of you guys do, let me know as well. Sum up your process in one sentence. I do not know this answer yet. I'm trying to think still. 14, any weird artist quirks or habits? Um, not really, but I was, we were going to take this question off, but I'm answering it anyways, just in case we keep it. But I do love to listen to music that goes along with what I'm doing. So like when I was doing my Make It Plain Body of Artwork, I listened to a lot of like, uh, like grits and like, hip-hop that is like social activist hip-hop and like very positive and um like somewhat angry but also very positive and joyful and like progress oriented uh the main one I listened to was actually grits during that time and a few other like of the more like traditional ones also like and then when I did my uh like India artwork I listened to Bollywood the whole time and now I'm listening to like different music from the different cultures that I'm studying within my community so it's yeah I think I just I listen to music that matches the I listen to music that matches the work. So thanks guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, be sure to subscribe. I make art videos on Tuesdays and I try to do Thursdays as well. Uh, I also do random videos throughout the week uh, from time to time. Sorry, but my uh, upl I upload on Tuesdays. I upload studio tours on Tuesdays and other videos as well off and on throughout the week. But uh, my art is travel, culture, and uh, those types of things. So if you like it, be sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys around. I love you. Hit like, all those good things. Thanks, guys.